Hi, I'm Nick Fiorentino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite guitar pedal called the Paul Cochran Tim pedal. Paul Cochran Tim is a light overdrive to mild overdrive with a subtractive EQ. What that means is you keep your clean signal while you're boosting the pedal, and then you subtract all the harsh frequencies as you turn the knobs. On the pedal, you have an on switch which turns on the pedal and affects all four of these knobs. And then you have a boost section, which is on the back, and it has a tone and drive, which is a little bit extra boost on top of it. There's also a clipping diode to change the asymmetrical and different things like that. One of my favorite ways to use it is in the effects loop of an amp, and it kind of adds like another channel of overdrive to your amp. So this pedal is the older brother of the famous Timmy pedal, which is a very simplified version of just the volume, bass, treble, and gain. And MXR just released a new version of that. Usually it used to be Paul Cochran and he was just making them by hand and they're very limited. A few years ago, I got this pedal, the Tim, because I wanted something that I could use as a boost. My amp wasn't being loud enough and I needed it for a very specific situation where I was boosting my effects loop for a solo and it just was starting to feed back because I was throwing too much in it with a different pedal. So then I got the Tim because I wanted to be able to cut away the harsh frequencies and just get a better volume boost. And it was perfect for that. All right, so I'm using a Fender Clean kind of sound and we're gonna use the Tim pedal in front of the amp and we're gonna start off with a little bit of clean boost and then we're gonna add some gain in. And then after that, we're gonna just show some cutting of the frequencies to show how it interacts. Because the cool thing is the bass cut is right before your guitar signal comes into the pedal right as your guitar signal comes into the pedal. So what that's great for is to use different guitars with the pedal. Like if you have a humbucker, it's good for cleaning that up. And then the treble is after the gain. So you can cut out all the frequencies that get to be a problem while you're boosting. So check it out. So the bass is getting a little heavy. Let's cut out some of that. It's not playing well with the game. So now I'm gonna test out some. I'm gonna lower the volume and crank the gain so we get a little bit more you get a little bit more treble out of it. It's gonna be a little quieter.
So that sounds really good. It's just, it adds another flavor of distortion to your amp. And I don't normally use it like this. I just use it in the effects loop. But if I had another one of these, if I had the Timmy pedal, I would be using it like this. I'd be using it to add, you know, when you have a clean setting on your amp and you just want a different, if you don't have that many other options on your amp, you can just use it clean. Like that's how your clean will sound. And then, and it keeps the sound pretty transparent and it still sounds like your amp when you're using it. That's why I really love this pedal. And on the drive side, you have an extra, it's not exactly an extra channel, but it's extra gain. Now what that does is it allows you to kind of just kick on a little bit more when you need it, if you need a boost to your already boosted signal. It's not a second channel, but it, it just feels like a little bit more when you want to use the boost. So here's, I'm going to give an example of what it sounds like. All right, so here's going to be the extra boost side of this pedal. So it's more gain a little bit, but it's really kind of the same pedal the whole time. It just acts like another gain stage. And if you leave the gain down really low, it's kind of subtle when you just boost it. So I'm gonna do that real quick. As you can see, it doesn't add that much and it's not something you can just count on as a second channel, but if you really are using just one overdrive or if you just want this, you can just, it has like a second side to it. That's why the Tim pedal I like a little bit better than the Timmy. All right, so here's an example where you can use a pedal in front of the Tim and then use the Tim to kind of clean it up and make it sound better where it's boosting a harsh frequency. I'm using the Chase Bliss Audio Brothers Overdrive, and it does not sound bad at all, but I had to boost it really harshly to make it sound kind of bad. Here's what the Chase Bliss Brothers sounds like if it sounded bad. And then I'm gonna use the Tim with cutting a little bit of that treble and adding a little bit of gain back to get rid of what I got rid of. This is just an example of how the Tim helps with any harsh signal that you have in your chain. And it works really well with other overdrive pedals. Now I was just using that to show what a bad sound sounds like, but if you have good overdrive pedals, you can use them and use the Tim to just boost your signal super high up. And it just is a really pleasant sound. All right, so here's an example of using the effects loop of the Tim pedal. 
And what that's gonna do is, I have a delay in the effects loop of the Tim pedal. And when I turn the Tim pedal on, the delay will only be on when the Tim is on. So it's great if you wanna use a delay for your solo. It's cool to stack things in there and only have them on, like if you have an extra delay pedal. I'm using my Strymon Timeline, so I probably wouldn't normally just use it in the effects loop of the Tim. But it's cool because you can turn just one pedal on and both turn on at the same time. So I guess if I was only using my delays for solos, I might use it in the effects loop. So here's going to be my clean sound. I'm switched over to my Gibson Midtown Custom. And I'm going into the brown face style side of my amp, so it's going to be a little heavier. All right, so now I'm gonna use the Tim and the effects loop on my AC30 side of my amp. And what that does is it allows you to boost the overall volume of the amp, unlike if you put it in the front where it would just boost the gain and just hit the front of the amp harder. Now that it's in the effects loop, you have control over all the signal that you had before and you can boost it even higher. So you just get a volume boost as opposed to just a gain boost. Now, why the Tim is really cool is I used to use a different type of boost where it was just one knob for the boost and it just boosted volume and it was pretty good, but it got to a point where you're not able to raise the volume past a certain point because there's too much overload of frequencies there. And I couldn't get the volume higher for songs I was using it in. And the Tim, what, when it's in the effects loop, you can cut the frequencies away and you could even boost your volume higher and it's just more intense. So here's what it's going to sound like and I'm going to show you how the boost sounds. That sounds amazing. I really love how it sounds in the effects loop. You really just get a great volume boost and you can just control the whole signal of the amp and just cut and get a better volume boost that way. I don't know, it's it's hard to it's hard to put into words, but I just love I love how this boost sounds. It's amazing. All right, so that's going to wrap up this video and I really love this pedal. I would definitely recommend it. I would definitely recommend the Timmy as well, if you can get one. Uh, they're a lot more common and it's just, it's a great start if you want something like the Tim, but you can't find it or you don't want to pay as much money for the Tim. It's definitely really good. And I, I'm probably going to get a Timmy at one point just to have another boost like this. It's just very versatile. I wish, I, I wish I had a whole pedal board full of these. It's, it's the best, probably the best pedal I've ever used. It's just really good at what it does. So if you like this video, give it a like and please subscribe to the channel. I would love all the support I can get and check out my next video when it comes out. It'll be coming out shortly after this. 
and thanks for stopping by. I'm Nick Fiorentino.